hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys i am going to show 13 steps to troubleshoot the issue this site can't be reached on windows 10 11 8 or any other operating system 7 as well so let's start without wasting our time guys so first of all let me show you the error first if i want to go to the youtube.com and also let's for facebook.com so it's not loading and this is throwing the error as you can see here so if you are facing the similar problem the site can't be reached so this video is for you so step number one is to guys simply you need to clear all the SSL cache state on your system as well as the restore setting to the defaults so we need to simply open here the control panel and once you open the control panel look for the category wise select the large icons once you have selected the large icons we need to go to the internet options and once you go to the internet options go to the security and in here go to the content and click on clear SSL state once you click on OK also go to the advance and click on restore system setting so once you have click on restore click on apply and click on OK and check if it fixed the issue or not so still not so move on to the second step so second step is guys to clear the history of the google chrome okay make sure you have cleared the history sometime cache is stored inside your google chrome so simply go to the three dots here then go to history then go to history again and in here delete browsing data and look for the advanced options and click on this option time range and select here the all time so once you have selected the all time tick all the boxes here only exclude this option password and rest of other options you can click and then click on delete your data so once you have deleted the data check if it is fixed the issue or not if not guys we can troubleshoot the issue into the third method so in the third method we are going to restore the chrome into the default settings so simply open the google chrome once again and click on reset setting and click on sister restore system settings to the their original defaults and click on reset so reset will disable extensions delete cookie and other temporary sites reset the chrome settings to the shortcuts but bookmark history and saved password wouldn't be affected so click on reset and check if it fixed the issue or not and also check for update here guys simply make sure your google chrome is up to date and check if it is fixed the issue or not if you are still facing the issue site can't be reached so move on to the step number four and that is update the google chrome and remove unwanted extensions so we have already done done this step as front of you guys so you can remove the unwanted extensions let me show how to remove them extensions manage extensions and you can simply remove them or you can disable them if you don't know them so just simply hit remove and simply remove them sometime the extensions can cause the error on your chrome as well as in the other browser as well extension conflict with the, your searching and other result as well so make sure you have removed them if you don't want them so now move on to the step number five use the google chrome or the open dns so these are the two dns servers this is the google and this is the open dns so i recommend you to choose the open uh, google chrome dns first 
so simply since we are in the control panel so don't worry open the run command here and on the search bar you need to type ncpa.cpl this is a shortcut to open the the properties of the Wi-Fi connected so if you are connected with the Wi-Fi so right click it go to its properties and go to IPv4 version and go to its properties and use the following DNS 8.8.8 .8 let me show how to do that 8.8.8.8 and in the alternative 8.8.4.4 so once you click on apply and click on ok and close it and check if it fix your issue or not so also you can try this open dns 1.1.1 and in the alternative 1.0.0.1 and it should fix the issue it will route through the dns and it should fix the issue now if you are still facing the issue guys move on to the second step now sometime the manual proxy can cause the issue as well so it's better to disable them so simply open the control panel again and go to this section again and go for advanced options or not connections and then look for LAN settings and if you see any manual proxy is on here just untick that option and select the automatic detected then click on apply then click on ok and now check if it is working or not it should work now since these are the settings to the defaults and the traffic is routing automatically through the automatic proxy setting not the manual one sometime if the administrator or other is restricted you to go to particular website so manual proxy you can disable it now move on to the second step if still facing the issue step number seven is reset internet errors okay so these are the commands you need to hit on the cmd simply open the cmd as admin mode okay and you need to hit these commands net sh space winshock space reset and hit enter so once you hit enter type the another command in order to clear the cache of the internet ip config forward slash flush dns now once you have executed these two commands guys you have to restart the system and it will fix your issue for sure if you have still problem so we can move on to the eighth step so I'm going with a one way with this video just making this directly so move on to the eighth step so disable IPv6 version sometime IPv6 can cause the issue since that is not compatible or due to some security reasons so press windows plus R button type ncpa.cpl and make sure go to the network in which your system is connected okay right click properties and untick the option IPv6 version here okay just untick that option from here then click on ok so once you click on ok just close this out just disable it once this will refresh the setting and now re-enable it so once you have re-enable it try to connect with the that internet options and check if it is working or not if not we have the another fix for you that is the update Wi-Fi or the LAN driver if your driver is not up to date so it's time to update it so how to check that simply open the device manager 
here and look for the connected modem the driver look for network adopters expand the Wi-Fi driver right click how to identify that which is the Wi-Fi driver that can be complicated sometime press Windows plus R button ncpa.cpl okay let me show how to identify it exact driver as you can see Wi-Fi is Intel dual wireless AC 3161 so as you can see this is a driver okay and these are the other virtual drivers here so look for the this exact driver which you have here and once you have identified the exact driver just make a right click simply update it automatically and or also you can right click update browse this option and check check the older driver is working or not if that is not working select the latest driver and then hit next and it will fix the issue and will ask you to restart the system and restart simply system and it will fix the issue if the issue is related to the driver if you are still having the issue guys so you can try to step number 10 and that is disable firewall and antivirus so this is the main gate of traffic is coming in and out like firewall so we can disable it once how to disable it simply press windows plus R button and tap there firewall dot CPL or you can directly go to the search tap there firewall click on windows firewall with advanced security okay with not this let me open with a firewall.cpl windows defender and go to turn windows defender firewall on or off and turn off all the firewalls here once you have turned off click on ok and also check for it like you can disable it virus threat protection manage it and real time protection turn it off then hit yes also turn them off as well this is for temporary base and check if it is working fine or not sometime the protection and the firewall can cause this issue as well so if check and also you can disable your antivirus for once ok antivirus means the paid antivirus if you are using so you can disable it and check if your issue is fixed or not if not so we can disable the experimental quick protocol and this is the security protocol in the google chrome how to open it uh, you need to just copy this flex settings colon double slash flex let me open here like this and once you have opened this let me copy this so that you can directly access it ok this way ok and you need to search this experimental quick on here ok hit enter now you should see the yellow is selected here just disable it once once you have disabled it the relaunch the google chrome and check if it is working or not 
and also guys in the step number 12th you need to make sure that your internet is, is stable if it is unstable so you can cause and uh, this issue can be happened with you so how to identify that your internet is working fine or not open the CMD and type here ping and google dns 8.8.8.8 space hyphen n and the thousand packets we are going to send here and hit enter so if you are getting the proper reply here guys so this is the general way and the best way to check your internet connectivity and make sure you are getting the reply like I am getting here the reply regular reply is recommended here if any request time out is coming up so it means that you don't have the reliable connection so change your connection accordingly with the good internet speed and also you can speed test on your browser like this speed test go to this link or this link and simply test it okay so this is the 12th step now move on to the last step guys I have the last solution for you and that is check router and firewall setting how to check that you need to check that if you are using the home router so check if it is blocking any other third party application or the firewall is blocking them you can also reboot bo both of the devices once go to the router restart it and go to the firewall if you can restart it and check its setting also I hope you know how to configure it and how to do that how to go to the manual or you can check with your ISP that if you are getting any replied here not replying here which I have told you so I hope guys after applying these 13th method okay your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching and you can also join the membership in order to watch the exclusive video so thank you thanks for watching